Shalom, 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 you need faith to keep the law. You know, this is this is just um, you know, a little bit of a, of a of a reminder video that you cannot, you know, separate faith and law. Okay? This is what these other Israelite groups try to do when they say it's all about the law, and this is exactly what um Christians try to do when they say, "Well, the law is done away with, completely done away with." So we can just do what we want to do, eat what we want to eat have sex with who we want to have sex with, you know what I'm saying? Celebrate what, would you, what we want to celebrate instead of, instead of, um, you know, following the law of statutes and commandments to the very, very best of your ability. Everybody wants an excuse not to, okay? But you cannot separate law and faith because in order to have, see, this, this is what people don't understand. What, what is, what exactly is faith, Okay. What exactly is faith? Once you understand what faith is, then you want to understand that that's exactly what you need to fear the Lord. I mean, I'm sorry, to keep the law. Which I just said what faith is, the fear of the Lord. You need to, you need to fear the Lord in order to keep the law. Which but both faith and faith and law goes goes hand in hand. But like the elder likes going into, the elder Karate Zaba likes going into, right? Revelation, you know, I'm, we, we, I'm, just, I'm just going to get it real quick. I'm just going to get it real quick. Uh, and then we're going to come back to this. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see here. I believe it was Revelation 2 and... Was it 8? Bear with me for a second. Uh, I swear with... I thought it was... Revelation... <clears throat> Let's go down to two and uh, let's see here. I believe I know it was Revelation two, the second chapter. What was it? This one? No. Uh, give me a second. Give me one second. Right here it is. I kept skipping it. This is Revelation two and ten. Fear none of these things that shall come to that that shall which thou shalt suffer, right? Behold, the devil will shall cast some of you into prison, right? That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a life. Uh, I'm sorry, a crown, a crown of life. Okay, so while you're outside of the prison. Before before they start the the the, uh, the tribulation, yes, you you should keep the law to the very very best of your ability. But in order to do that, you gotta have faith because there are certain things that we that we still can't do, in the law. This is this is why this is why every time somebody th sees Israelites, well, we don't, we, which we don't care how they look at us, we they gonna look at us like we crazy anyway, right? Because it's all gonna go a uh, conversation with a Christian. Y'all can agree with. Y'all could agree with everything, but you know what? It's all it's gonna be one main thing that there that y'all gonna that y'all gonna go back and forth with. And it's that salvation, who salvation is for who who exactly is salvation for. Because all the Christians say it's for everybody. So you could agree with everything. You know what I'm saying? Some Christians, some Christians even agree that you shouldn't eat the pork, crab, shrimp, and stuff like that. Some some agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's always gonna be that one thing. It's only it's either going to be about women or the or the um the salvation who salvation is for it's going to be those those two things right so being that we can't follow the law a hundred percent the the lord said the laws is, is not made it's still not made void now when you're going to the prisons when they start, you know, putting hell on us. There's really going to be less things you could do. This is why I said be faithful unto death. Be faithful unto death. Now we're going to go back. 
All right. This is just to annihilate that that separation between law and faith. There is really no separation, man. Right. There is really no separation. You require both. The faith, fear of the Lord, and the, you know, to keep the law, you need fear of the Lord to keep the law. And, and another and another thing too, what I that I want to say that I've been saying not to, you know since I think last month. These laws is, are not for ceremonial practices. When the law tells you, don't eat the pork, don't eat the crabs, don't eat the shrimp, don't commit adultery. You know what I'm saying? Don't go, don't, don't go shoot somebody. Don't go, don't go, don't go rob somebody. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's so many things that the law tells us to do. Why? Why? There's a reason why, there's a reason for that. How to treat your body and stuff like that. Because everybody's so out of order. We're in the time of Joel 10 and the last verse. A land without any order. No fear. So the law, uh, the laws of the Bible, they're for your health. Okay? They're not just ceremonial practices. They're for your health. They're good for you, man. They are good for you. Don't be a flame. You know, a homo. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't change your gender. You know what I'm saying? Don't do none of that stuff, man. Right? It's for your health. It's for your health. Because if you keep continuing to put stuff in your body that's not meant to be in there, you're going to mess up the earth, number one, and you're going to mess up yourself, man. There's always great, there's always good reasons for it, man. Okay? Uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 27. It says, where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? It says, by what law of works? It says, nay, but by the law of faith. Now, we now we heard, heard Christians bring this out a couple of quite a few times. And you know what? We absolutely agree. But we got to keep reading, though. Right. We agree with everything the scriptures say. <laughs> I mean. I mean, there's there's no disagreement there. If you bring out a scripture, yeah, you just got to have a right breakdown. You can't just open up the book and just say, hey, well, that's what it say. Can't do that. You got to go into, you got to go into context, man. Okay. You got to go into documents. You got to go into Greek. You got to go into uh, Latin. You got to go into Hebrew. You got to do research, man. You got to go into definitions. It don't just stop with the Bible. And we had an older Jake come up to us Saturday and he was kind of breaking all that down like, well, I don't want to really just stop with the Bible. I need, I need further, I need further, uh, 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 um, research, right? I need, you know, you can't just stop with the Bible. You got to go into it. You got to go in, right? You kind of got to go outside the Bible to bring it back into the Bible because that's just what it is. This Bible is one big history book. And in order to do, in order to, uh, accurately do history, you got to do your own research outside the Bible. So, Noah, don't just stop with the Bible. <laughs> but these scriptures is everything. Right? It says, um, so it says, by what? By the law of faith. It says the law of faith. So, is this saying that to, is this saying to uh, uh, completely get rid of the law? Well, let's see. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Oh, another thing we got to understand who exactly is the law made for? We know it's we we understand it's simple answers the Israelites, but what Israelite is made is the is the is the law made for? Who is the who is the law made for? I'll let y'all uh, figure that out. Brothers already know, and anybody that knowing already knows, <laughs> right? Because when you understand this, when you understand this part right here, and understand who the law is for, and what the laws were made for, then you're not gonna have an issue, okay? It says, is he the God of the Jews only? It says, is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. We agree with that. Who are the Gentiles? <laughs> we, we absolutely agree with that. But who are the Gentiles? You see, you see, this is one of the examples that we that, that we were saying. You have to go further into the Bible. I, I know I said outside the Bible. You're really all, all, all technically you're not really going outside the Bible. You're just you're just branching off a little bit, right?
to go further into it to bring like i said to bring it right back into it because these scriptures really break down themselves it's just that you gotta the way the way they were broken up and the way it was tampered with yeah we agree that the bible was tampered with but what was it right what was what we were you know what i'm saying we got all types of fuck scenes in us and stuff like that right i mean we're being tampered with now breathing in all breathing in, breathing in the messed up air the chemicals eating gmo food so everything is tampered with everything's created by man okay Everybody say the Bible's written by man. Yeah, this is the, this is the realest man I ever knew then. The smartest man I ever knew then. And the most accurate man I've ever knew. Right? So, yeah. Of the Gentiles also. Yes, he is. Right? He is the God of the Gentiles. You really think about it. He's the God of, he's the God of everything. Right? But, who are the Gentiles? Verse 30. Verse 30. Okay, seeing it is one, right? Seeing it is one God, which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Watch this. Do we then make void the law through faith? It says God forbid means no. Yeah, we establish the law. This is exactly the problem that Paul was going through, man. The stuff that you see happening right now with, with this fight between whether it be no law or the fight, whether it be about all the law, you know, it's only the law. Right. We're going through the, the, the time of the time that Paul was in is pretty much no different than what we're in right now. Right. Pretty much. He was going through the same thing. He was trying. He was trying to bring balance to, to, to show the people, show the Israelites like that. Look. This is why I said, yes, he's the God of the Gentiles also. The law was made, and I'm going, I'm just going, you know, for edification for anybody that don't know. The law was made for the for the sinner. Now you got to go to who can sin. First John chapter 3, verse, verse 4. What is sin? Sin is transgressing of the law. Now you got to go to who the law was given to. Right? You got to go to who the law was given to now. Now, when you when you go through the through the through the train, pretty much, now you come back to this point. Okay, the law was made for the for the for the sinner, and not the righteous man, because it only makes sense the righteous man already knows the law, so he don't need to go over the law. Like us, we don't need to go back to thou shalt not eat pork, you know, eat of the swine, and you know, and uh, 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 eat eat only the things that chew up the cud, you know, with the hooves and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We don't need to do that. Because we already know now, it's, it's literally engraved in us now. So when we see pork, we don't need to we don't need to even second guess it. We just say no, I don't eat that. It is what it is. No, you eat crab. You see crabs, it's just like no, just stay away from it. You don't even touch it. So so that part of the law, right? That part of the law technically don't even go for us no more because we already know. Now, it, now towards the sinner, because we are still sinners, now towards the sinner, right? That still applies for them. This is why we tell them, look, don't do this. This is bad for you. And it's, and it's completely against the Lord, man. It's completely against your heritage. This is why those heathens, those Japanese, you know what I'm saying? And them, them ham, like them Africans, they can eat all that stuff and they don't get messed up. Why, why is it that we eat it and we have like super high blood pressure, heart problems and stuff like that? These heathens, they eat all types of messed up stuff and they're fine. They're fine. I wonder why. So now when you understand who the Gentiles are, and I'm not going to go into this right now. Long, the short answer, the Gentiles are Israelites, unbelieving Israelites who call themselves Greeks and Romans and stuff like that, man. Who didn't run it? Who didn't want to accept the fact that they were Israelites, just like we're calling ourselves Americans? But are we really Americans? No, we're Israelites, right? So it's the same situation. So yes, he is. He is. He is the God of the Gentiles too, because they are Israelites, right? So he was again. Paul is bringing balance, as to say, look, man, we in a time of faith. Now, whereas in the old so-called Old Testament, 
That was a, a little bit, I want to say a little bit of a different time when it came to the law part. But since, right, Antiochus and, and um, yeah, Antiochus, out of the solution, out of the solution dynasty, right, messed us up. Then now we now we're in the time of mercy, okay, and we've been in that time of mercy ever since then, right. So anyway, that's all I really got on this, right. You need you need the faith, you need faith to keep the law. Giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Shalom.